Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining me once again. Folks, today we're going to do an American Wagyu beef brisket for you. Yes, that's right. Wagyu. This is going to be the most succulent and tender and juicy brisket that you've ever seen on video. Y'all check this one out. Alright folks, let's check this out. Oh, and this is uh, just some stuff that came with it. You need to check this out if you get some beef from Lil Bell's. Read this. This tells you how to bloom their, their steaks and whatnot. It's got some suggestions on how to cook their stuff. Little uh, thing for how done the meat will be. Anyway, this is what we got. Lil Bell's always ships fresh, so they put everything in a styrofoam container. Basically a ice chest. Get you some gel packs in here. There's two on top of this. Let's see, there's uh, one, two, three, there's four more down on the bottom. And again, this is fresh, so they put these gel packs to keep it cold. But this is what we're cooking with today, folks. Uh, Little Bells of New York, American Wagyu uh, beef. Look at that nice marbling on there. Oh my gosh. That's going to be some fine succulent brisket, I'm going to tell you. All right, so let me get this uh, put in the fridge until this weekend. We'll meet you back here when we're about ready to throw some rub on it. See you shortly. I've got a third cup of salt, third cup of pepper, and a tablespoon of cayenne pepper. That's what's going on in this brisket. Y'all check it out. And all you need to do really, you don't want to go super heavy and make sure you stir this up, you know. Just kind of sprinkle it on there really good. Go around the sides like this. And we're going to do this, we're going to do the other side. And again, you don't want to go really super heavy. That's probably about good right there. Like that, all right? And you don't want to rub it in. Just kind of pat it on there. We're going to do the other side. We'll meet you right back here when we fix and throw it on the grill. All right, everybody, we are fixing to get this going on my Yoder Wichita. Woo. Got a 225 Fahrenheit on this end down here. About 250 on this end. I'm going to throw it fat side up on this end over here. And you want this big point end to be towards the fire, okay? This is where all that heat's coming. This is a nice thick part of the uh, brisket, so it can absorb all that heat. And I'm also going to throw a water pan in here. I'm going to sit it right over here next to the firebox. And that's going to introduce some moisture into here and, and keep this from, from drying out. And I'm also going to spritz it starting about, uh, about three or four hours in. We're going to let her cook and we'll check it here probably in about four to six hours. It's midnight right now. So I'm going to be up all night. It's going to be fantastic. We'll check back with you here in a little bit when we start spritzing it. This is what she's looking like about six hours in. 6.30 a.m. right now. Nice color. Getting a little bit of bark over here on the uh, the burn ends. She's starting to loosen up a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be a fine brisket. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Let's check this out. I think this is done. And I'm just going to probe it here. To I'm not really checking for temp, just for tenderness. And I want you to take a look at that. That is going through like butter. Oh, man. That is ready to come off, folks. And just, just so you know, I did actually probe it and uh 201 it was like 198 i checked it earlier 199 but yeah it's ready to come off and i don't want to mess up the bark so i'm gonna try to grab it from beneath oh man i hope it doesn't fall apart on me here oh i think we're good there's your jiggle folks nice flat over here nice point yeah, that's definitely done. Hey everybody, we're fixing to cut this brisket up. Just want to let y'all know I've got Tom from Tom's Test Kitchen joining me over here. He's going to do some sampling of this Wagyu brisket with me. It smells awesome. It does. <laughs> let's cut into it. So let's check this out. Let's see what kind of... Oh man, it cuts so, so good. Cut your nice quarter inch thick pieces over here on the flat. Try to slowly work my way around here. All 
I mean, just seriously, folks. Seriously. I mean, check that out. Seriously, let me have a bite. Karen. I swear. <laughs> Takes too long or I want to eat it. I don't blame you, Karen. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Is it pretty good? Mm-hmm. All right. So, we're going to keep slicing over here. Okay. Now, what you want to do with the point, though, that's what I was going to show you. See, it's kind of jiggly around here. I'm going to cut it back here just beyond where you get the uh, burn ends over here. I'm going to cut it right in half. Okay. <laughs> and then rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. And that's jiggly. Slice it down the middle. Okay. And this is the best part of the cow right here. The best oh, part. Oh, hell yeah. Best part of the brisket. Mm. Look at that. So this is your flat down here. And this is that nice ribeye texture. The point. Mm. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay. And these you want to slice a little bit thicker. Like 3 8 inch or so. Look at all the juice pouring out. I know, this is still really, really hot. And you got that nice thick bark on here, so it's, it is going to be a little tough to cut through that bark. But folks, isn't that gorgeous? Ooh, that's hot. That's really hot, folks. <laughs> it's been resting for a couple hours, too. All right, so we're going to make some cuts right here. Cut that off. All right, and then what you do is Man. cut this like so. Okay, and then you cut you some burn ends. All right, just little cubes. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> that is smoking hot, folks. Mm. Goodness that's gracious, that's hot. You need some kind of rubber gloves. Or yeah, something. I know you do. So that's a burn in right there. Ooh, that's a burn in, folks. There you go. All right, everybody, we're gonna taste this. Cheers. Cheers. I got a burn in. He's got the lean portion. That's some kind of fun. What do you think? Melts in your mouth, goodness. Speechless. It's really, really good. That is really good. Just simple salt, pepper, cayenne. Mm. I've had a lot so, of brisket, and this is a good brisket. That's really, really good. I, I, I can't say enough. I mean, this is just absolutely fantastic. It is. The bark is absolutely, I mean, Absolutely gorgeous. And you didn't wrap this, right? Nope. I mean, you tinted it, tinted it at the end just to keep the, the heat, but this was completely unwrapped. It is. <laughs> oh, did you want to get in here? I'm oh, sorry. I did. <laughs> it's so good. And like Tom was mentioning earlier, this, this fat on here. Oh my God, the fat is like butter. <laughs> it is. Good mm. stuff. It's good eating, that's for sure. Mm. Really, really good. Move over, Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Hey, yo, the Wichita produces some good stuff, but all in all, this Wagyu brisket came from Little Bells of New York, folks. And they're running a special right now. If you decide to go over there to Little Bells and buy anything from them, if you spend $99 or more and you use the promo code TROYCOOKS99, now through Labor Day, September 7th, 2015, you get free shipping. You can thank me later. Can't beat that. I know. Folks at Lil Bells, they're looking out for my subs. So hope y'all can check them out, lilbells.com. Tom, I appreciate you joining me here. I'm glad you can hey, man. partake in some of this with me. That's awesomeness right there. It is, good stuff. Wagyu, folks, y'all check, gotta check it out. It's good stuff. Karen, thanks again. We're fixing a munch. And everybody, hope y'all share this video. And when you do, please tell all of your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. responsibly. <laughs> I never get tired of that. Me either. <laughs> Gosh. Mm. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, dig in. Look at these poor dogs. I know. I know they're going crazy. They're like, drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh, drop. <laughs> Yum. This is really good. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love this end. Did you put anything on it? 
Salt, pepper, and cayenne pepper. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay. <clears throat> that brisket is some of the best stuff I've ever had. It is really, really good. Troy outdid himself. We're gonna finish this. <laughs>